What's up guys, Meg White here and this is my super nice open wide gravel bike. The sun is shining, the weather is sweet finally. So we're going to pack her up, we're going to do a one nighter and I'm going to show you guys what to take. Okay cool, so setup wise, um, all of my bags I use tail fin. Um, they work really well with smaller bikes, um, they kind of have every add-on that you need to kind of adapt it to your bike, your wheel size, your frame size, etc. Um, so I use the Aero Pack on the back, um, great for multi-day, you can fit the majority of your kit in that which is fantastic. Uh, it doesn't sway, um, it's a dry bag so it keeps everything dry. Um, it also comes with these add-ons so you can put go for like big heavy multi-day um, trips and add some panniers on them. Um, frame bag, I have the smallest frame in the world um, so I found it so difficult to find anything but this is the best I could do um, thanks to the guys at Tailfin. Um, little top tube snack pack, um, great for easy access electricals etc. Has a, a cable port too if you need to charge your Wahoo. Um, and then we've got tail fin fort packs as well. These are great because um, they come off dead easy. That's a nice dry bag, so you don't need to put anything in a bag in a bag. Um, so you can save on weight and you can just take that into your tent, shower, bothy, whatever you're doing with it, basically. So that's the setup. Right, let's get packing. So your bulkier items is probably going to be your sleeping arrangement. So your bivvy, your sleeping bag. Um, etc this is all stuff that you want to make sure stays dry so i like to put it uh probably at the bottom of this one because i know i don't need access to it until the end of the day right let's get packing so your bulkier items is probably going to be your sleeping arrangement so your bivvy your sleeping bag um etc this is all stuff that you want to make sure stays dry so i like to put it uh, probably at the bottom of this one because I know I don't need access to it until the end of Bit the day. Bit of a change of plan. I'm actually going to put my sleeping bag in this one because it fits like a glove. You basically will find certain things just fit in bags really well. And you'll probably end up repacking and packing this numerous times. But um, yeah, sleeping bag has gone in there like a glove. So we're going to fill this up for the rest of our dry kit, which is going to be any spare clothes in there. Okay, so clothes for two days. Um, depending on what kind of person you are, I'm not going to take a second bib short. I know tomorrow is meant to be dry, so I'll just air out this tomorrow night and then wear it again the day after. Um, waterproof, soft shell, long sleeve top just in case. I've obviously got the t-shirt I'm wearing tomorrow. Um, I've got a pair of pants in the evening. Trust me, they'll be needed because it's midgy season. Um, a vest, not sure if I'll need this, so if I have space I'll take it, but if not, I'm just going to leave that. Spare pants and socks, there's nothing better than a fresh pair of socks in my opinion, so these are being taken. Um, and then duvet jacket, which is essential because um, it's July in the Lake District. You may have noticed a lot of my kit is uh, seven mesh as well. Um, I absolutely love their stuff um, and especially this co-pilot jacket which was that waterproof I just had out which packs down into its uh, back pocket then has these little bungee cords so you can attach it to your frame which is great when you need easy access um, to your waterproof when it has a downpour. Okay, we've got camping stuff in, we have clothes in, I've put my waterproof in, in here for now because I may take this off and attach my waterproof here. I don't know yet. This is this is what happens when packing a bike. You end up moving stuff around because you need to fill up basically every little space that you've got in there. Um, yeah, I'm hoping I'm not going to need all of these bags, but we'll see. Moving on to tools. Um, this is kind of what I carry every day on a gravel ride anyway. Um, but yeah, nice Crank Brothers tool, dead light, um, restrap a uh, tyre boot, um, which is kind of cool. They've got your glue in there. I've actually already used one of them, worked a treat. Um, pump, spare CO2, Swiss Army knife. Um, this is a great little tool, which I'm not to use yet, but it's a tyre lever um, as well as your um, plug and your plunger. 
don't know what you'd call that, your little prodder, um, from Crank Brothers. Um, so that's a great little addition. Obviously packs it all down into a tire lever, which is great. Um, and then, yeah, always carry my um, hip lock um, lock with me because you never know when you're going to have a cafe stop. Probably a few of you that are going to moan out there that I should carry more than that. And I do. It's just all here, basically, on uh, my bike already. So Crank Brothers make these cool SOS tools, which literally has everything. So on this side, it's got a CO2 um, and spare bungs in there. Um, there's also another tyre lever in here, uh, which I can try and show you. Uh, yeah, I think I kind of did. Um, and then on here, I have a CO2... Um, adapter i have a chain breaker i have spoke tensioning tools um quick link uh which i'll put on now um and then a multi-tool here as well so i literally have everything that i know i can fix basically on my bike um so yeah great tool if anyone wants one basically fit and forget you know you've got everything there okay so cooking wise I have a jet boil. That's all I've got actually, but it is quite big. But it's usually for multiple days and multiple people. Um, so Aston, who's coming with me, is going to be using this as well. And she's got the canister. And then I'm going to carry this bit. Not a fair deal, but um, we'll roll with it. Um, so normally I take my bowl, but I'm not going to. What I'm going to do is actually eat out of. Um, I'm actually going to eat out of the tin because can actually you can hold it like this so i'm just going to take the essentials um as well so everything kind of fits into this big cup which is cool um so yeah we'll pack that in i am going to put my um little cup in though because for a coffee in the morning it's quite nice um i don't stop this rattling inside my bag as well so we'll take that and chuck it in okay next up is toiletries um so i'm a lady so guys i'm sorry i'm gonna take more than you here but um these simple wipes are really good you can wipe your face wipe your ass whatever you want to do with them basically there's nothing harmful in there which are always good and they come in these mini travel sizes so basically get yourself to the um travel size aisle or in boots um yeah because they also do these which are great because i'm not a smelly bike packer um i like to be clean and um, plasters essential i only take a few but blisters etc um nivea also do these mini little pots um i sometimes just use that for my face and body everything um but you can also i recommend to any girls that use sephora is basically hoard all of these little free samples which you probably don't click to want but some of them are actually really good and they're great for bike packing like this one i can just use tomorrow anti-wrinkle day cream ideal um so yeah so i'll probably just take that um instead of this to use for my face bike cream it's mid-season so i'm definitely going to take that because i react really bad to horse flies and bites super strong paracetamol um I need to get some more of them toothpaste toothbrush um also anyone um going for longer um or want to use their own products um might have sensitive skin whatever these things are really good they look like macaroons actually um but off amazon i got these um definitely worth it like that one's got my face moisturizer in um probably not going to take that because i'm only going for a day but yeah multiple days i'll fill these up and take these instead which are great um, put it all in a dry bag so you know it's all together. You don't want that all that stuff basically rolling around um, in your bike bags and you've got your toothpaste up here and your bum butter down here. So keep it all in one compartment. Um, makes it easier if you are going for a shower, to the toilet, whatever. So I'm going to chuck you in there. Nice. She's filling up nice. What you want to make sure you do is your weight is distributed kind of evenly or as evenly as you can like i've got pretty light bags on the front which have either got clothes or a sleeping bag in so i know they weigh about the same and then the back um yeah we'll kind of level out what you don't want is all your weight in the back and no weight at the front so make sure you distribute your weight 
kind of well so you don't go over the bars when you start descending. Right, the best bit is food because you can eat what you want because you're riding your tits off. So everything from sour patch to baby bells to beef jerky parami things. Um, what else we got? Apricots to keep you regular. Chocolate as a snack. Um, smoothies. These are great, actually. I'm not a breakfast person, so I'll smash, like, two of them and one of each of these and kind of count it as breakfast, basically. Um, plus, breakfast is a massive faff when you're camping, so I'm going to smash those. Don't be an idiot and take, like, bananas and apples or fruit because it's not going to age very well in a bite bag. So my word of advice is, yeah, stick to dried fruit and nuts. Um, great. Everything that's light, so, like, pepper army. It's got, like, loads of protein in, but it's super light and obviously keeps well. Um, same with cheese. Baby Bell's comes in its own wrapper. Ideal. Um... Pre-boiled eggs, one of my absolute favourites. So, um, yeah, I'll just smash them. Again, breakfast snack, but I'll have one for lunch, whatever. These are actually really good. I've only just come across these. So what I'm actually going to do, I'll take the eggs out of here. But um, I'm going to make tomorrow night's meal in that um, and then just reheat it in the jet boil. Um, so, yeah, I think in we're going to have a tomato-y, tuna -y kind of pasta. Um, rather than those horrible pre-dried hydrating things, not a fan. These are also your best mate. Make sure you wrap everything in these because you don't want your cherry bake while mixing with your sausage roll now, do you? So yeah, let's pack this. Also, take stuff out wrappers because the amount of rubbish that's there and you've got to take that home with you. If you took it all in one of these, then you've got a multi-snack goodness. But you're not having to take a little rubbish home with you. So, top tip, I might even chuck them in without the wrap too. Rogue. There you go. That's a lot of goodness in there. And it means you probably won't just eat one flapjack. You'll probably have a nibble at someone else as well. So, um, I forgot my nuts. So, we're going to throw some nuts in here as well. And that's going to be my main source of kind of breakfast, really. Um, and some midday snackage, I think. Okay, last but not least is the electricals. So, power bank, GoPro, because I vlog all this for you guys to watch. Um, cables, um, need a Wahoo as well. Um, you don't need one this big, but um, because I have GoPros, a Wahoo to charge and a phone to charge, I just like the reassurance of this. Plus, I'm not buying multiple battery banks um, for different uh trips basically but yeah this will last me way longer than two days but um it's nice to have the reassurance there that you can charge up the other guys as well if someone's wahoo dies whatever um so yeah so we'll pack those in there she is <whistles> fully packed just added the teavers on for a bit of comfort tomorrow evening let the feet breathe uh put that seven mesh jacket on the front as well which fit nice that's there, so it's dead easy to get to, and I need to lock her up. But yeah, we're all we're all packed. So yeah, hope you enjoyed. Um, if you want to watch more, uh, let me know what you kind of want to see. Um, more day bikepacking trips, um, more mountain biking, more gravel riding. Let me know, and um, watch out for the gravel vlog that's about to happen tomorrow as well. Peace.